Welcome to What's in the Box. Today we have Jurassic World Dominion Minis. I'm sorry, Jurassic World Minis. They are formerly Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, they've This is the fourth in the series. The, they just shortened the name to Jurassic World Minis. Each of these is surprise packed. You're not supposed to know what's inside of them. And there are 11 different variations. So we have, uh, with one to two per box, we have quite a few dinos to discover. Now, I know for a fact, each of these has a code on the bottom. So today we're gonna find out what codes match what dinos. As we see first up here is number one. We have two, these numbers here, I have no idea what they do. But from what I've discovered in the past, you see this D01, that's usually the mark uh, denotes number one in the, the package. So with 11 variations, I have 11 boxes. The D is the fourth in the series. Uh, uh, we've seen series one, uh, three, as before. I don't believe I have any, I've come across any of the uh, twos, but these are brand new. These are even different style boxes than the other ones. Uh, in total, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 dinos. So these boxes should contain a total of 20 dinos for the set. So let's start with box one. That's this guy here. Box one, D01. Let's find out what dino this corresponds to. And I know we're. Uh, you're used to me using Mr. Pointy, but with these, I just love tearing them open. So box one, I'm thinking Tyrannosaurus, it is Tyrannosaurus. Some of these correspond, I think this is our fourth Tyrannosaurus that I've gotten out of packs. So there's box one, box one, Tyrannosaurus. So if you're looking for him, then of course inside there we have our checklist without names. None of these have names this time around. Usually tell us what it is. So we're gonna have me guessing and guessing incorrectly. All right, so next up is gonna be, that's box six. Let's grab box two next. Yep, so box two. Uh, seeing if it's gonna be the Stegosaurus and the Dimetrodon. And it is the Giganotosaurus. I have learned how to say that since Jurassic World Dominion's come out. So this is number three in this package. Let's hope no one swapped these boxes on me. And this isn't our first Giganotosaurus either. We'll put him next to uh, his so-called rival. All right, next, let's go, I think this is number three next. Yep, number three. So, we're gonna pop this open. So number three, we would assume it's a Giganotosaurus, but it's probably gonna be this one here, or it's gonna skip completely around. I see to go both ways. Hey, it skipped around. So we're talking Oh, I don't know your name. You are, are a spiked, sailed sauropod. And you are, has some very interesting, I've never seen this, this figure before. It has some very interesting proportions. But that's down here. So we would assume, oh, this one wants to come next. We would assume, I, I don't even know what to assume. We're just gonna move on. So you are number six, we're gonna wait on you. That's number five. All right, number four. So we're gonna find out what number four is. And number four is the Triceratops and the, and blue. 
That is just straight up blue. And this is not the first time we've seen blue in these packs. These are all standing very nicely. And here's our Triceratops. I do think uh, these were other colors. Any variations? I was hoping for some other Ceratopsian. I love my Ceratopsians. All right, next is number five. So number five. Okay. It's the fourth one on the pack here. We have our Pterosaur. And what appears to be an Allosaurus. That's a pretty big one to pack with two. They're very generous with these, these this time around. All right, on to the next box, number six, who has wanted to come with us or be opened up earlier. This is number six, DO6D, the sixth one in the fourth series. And inside we have the Stegosaur and Dimetrodon. Yeah, these are pretty big for the doubles. Like, the Sega Sword is almost as big as T-Rex. So, yeah, they're pretty generous with how many they're giving us this time around. I'm pleased. All right, number seven. You were eight. Number seven. So, we have the T-Rex. We have those. Two, we have the Giganotosaurus. We have these guys right here. So, we're looking at... Hmm. This being number seven. I bet you're going to get this one here. Maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. But number seven. No, I am completely wrong. It looks like we have a Baryonyx. No, this is a... That's a very small sail on him. But I guess that's supposed to be the, uh... No, it's, it's... Hmm. Some form. Here's a Pachycephalosaurus. I know this one. Yeah. Yeah, it's some form of, uh... So that was the second to last one for seven, by the way. Second to last one. Yeah, it looks to be some kind of Spinosaurus. Some kind of Spinosaurus. The Scorpio Venator or one of those. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but it's a spinous word. All right, onward. Number eight. Number eight. Uh, I'm, I'm still hoping for this guy. Because we have, actually, no, this is Sinoceratops. Come on. Nope. It is the last one. Number eight is the... Is this guy and the Anglosaurus? That is that is a chunky Anglosaurus. All right, one word. All right, what's next here? We have number nine. Number nine. Well, it's only a few left. Let's find out. There we go. The Aranosaurus, 
if I'm pronouncing that right. This looks is exactly colored like the larger one I have. And then next up is this guy, who is a... Are you supposed to be a Carnotaurus? Yeah, I'm going with Carnotaurus. He's supposed to be a Carnotaurus. He's a little, he's standing, but he's a little deformed. All right, onward, number 10. All right, so what do you guys think? Number 10. So we have all these top ones, and we're just, we're down to two. We got the Cyrus Cy Ceratops and the, uh, the Crocodilid. Number 10, you are. Ah, uh, finally. And once more, this is awfully big. That's a big one. Yeah, this is not a. I love when I'm on camera, I can't remember anything. But yeah, he's not, not as. They're scaling, because uh, Segasaur is the biggest of that, uh, that family so far. Of the Sega Sword family. And here we have, I don't know what's more. I don't know which one this is supposed to be. Oh, wait, is there words on the bottom? No, I was hoping for a name. All right, so that is number 10. Number 10 is this one down here. And finally, we have number 11. Did we get a full set? Am I correct in my deduct deduct? Am I correct? And we have. Ooh, I kind of remember what you are, but I can't remember what you are. <laughs> this guy. So we do have a full set. And the Sinoceratops. Oh well, his head moves. That's a great mold. That's a great dinosaur. All right, so I got two Ceratopsians. That, that's exciting. So once more, number 11 is this one right here. Number 11 is that one right there. So let's uh, clean this up in a second. And we'll see what we have. So here they are, all lined up. I'm going to go back and title each box opening with the appropriate names after doing some research. I just wanted one final shot of them all lined up nice and neat. And if you could, please hit that like button That if you enjoy this video. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future unboxing videos. As they release more of these, I plan on getting more of them. So as always, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.